Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Adrian, and I live in New York City and I love playing with makeup. And these are some of my favorite videos to do. It's a quick lipstick review. I do keep an eye open on new releases when it comes to lipsticks and in particular with certain brands that I've had a lot of love for in the past when it comes to lipsticks. I have a ton of lip reviews as well as try-ons so definitely check out my content if you are curious about some of my favorites but i had noticed something odd was happening with bobby brown i went on to bobby brown's website and i noticed that they had their lux lipstick displayed twice once in the new category and once in the older kind of category they had limited shades and in the new one they said new formulation so i actually asked their customer service team is it in fact new oh they did explain to me that it's new and they consider it now lip skincare which i just made me stop right in my tracks because i'm like whoa hmm already I will be very critical <laughs> of them but I went ahead and I ordered one shade and that shade was Bahama Brown and so here is the new lipstick in the component this is a very heavy luxe feeling component it has Bobbi Brown in a black ribbon right over here and it's not magnetic but it has a really nice secure closure and then it has some embossment over here and the bullet was actually embossed as well initially. So I have some history with Bobbi Brown. I love a lot of the crushed formula, but I have not had a lot of luck with her Lux formulas. The Lux formula to me has always been extremely expensive. This is quite expensive as well. And I didn't find it to bring anything new to the table, not like the crushed formulas. I love the crushed liquid lip, the crushed lip color, the um, the balm, as well as the gloss. I just thought that entire line was beautiful. There was something for everyone. Price point was great. Even the packaging was out of this world. The Lux, I've had some very critical feedback regarding a new product that they came out with, uh, the Lux Defining Lipstick, which I thought was just awful. I have a review about that. And so I was a little hesitant in picking this up, but I was picking up a couple of other products. There was a sale and I said, let's give it a shot. Let me swatch it for you. That is the color there. I think it's very true to the lip component in the package. It's sort of a brownie nude. I think that's how they describe it. By the way, there are 39 shades in this. Retails 40 US dollars for each lipstick. And I want to talk about some of the claims and I'm going to address them one by one. So they describe this on their website as skincare infused statement lip color with a rich satin finish. So I do think it has a satin finish. It's edging into the cream territory, but I'll, I'll give it the satin finish. And I do think it's one swipe color. So you're getting the full opacity with this on that first swipe. So I will say that it is absolutely, the pigment is there. For lips that feel as luxe as they look, balanced with neutral tones, our shades flatter all complexion. Now, I don't know that that's going to be necessarily true. With 39 shades, it's going to be very hard to get the shades to play up exactly well on all skin tones. I will insert a picture of what the swatch looked like online because I thought it pulled a bit different in person than it did in the photograph. And so it talks about this a luxe feeling, and I do think it does have that luxe feeling. It is quite creamy if I purse my lips together 
it's nice. There's still a lot of hydration and emolliency in the lipstick that I can do that. You know how sometimes you can apply a real full-on lipstick and maybe you get that emollient feeling for the first minute or two, but there's a little bit of a settling that occurs. I actually don't find that to be the case with this lipstick. I find my lips to remain hydrated. Now, does it go for the full 10 hours, which is another claim it, it says. It says it swipes on effortlessly and hydrates for 10 hours. I haven't been able to hit the 10 hour mark with this because as it wears down, it wears down really, really beautifully, but I am inclined to reapply or I'm inclined to throw on a balm afterwards and kind of get a more blotted look from a wear down. But 10 hours, I do not find that this product lasts for 10 hours. Some variation of it lasts, but not in its full first swipe effect. An infusion of flower extracts and wax help nourish, condition, and soften lips. I do find that this product is one of the rare products that if I wear over the course of multiple days, my lips don't have a negative reaction to. I was a little worried when I heard about flower extract because sometimes flower extracts can be actually quite harsh on the skin, but I have not found that to be the case. I wore this lipstick three days in a row and I loved the way it looked, I loved the way it wore, and I felt really confident in it. So much so I picked up two more shades. And I think like that in and of itself is a testament on how I really feel about the product. I will be swatching the other shades because I did try to pick up a couple that were completely unique and would be unique in my collection. Let's continue talking about the claims though. Reduces the look of lip lines instantly and improves the condition of lips after just one week. Now, I do think that it makes lip lines look a lot softer and it has a little bit of body to it, the formula, that it has a little bit of that filling component. Sometimes when formulas are too thin, they will just grab onto anything. Um, if they're too waxy, they kind of glide over uh, any kind of skin that's dry and they catch and they'll deposit pigment differently on that patch of skin. I find that this doesn't happen with this formula. It deposits perfectly well. With the crushed color from Bobbi Brown, it has much more wax in it that it can do a little of that catching. So I always like exfoliate my lips really well before I wear that product and I do really love that product. But this one, I don't have to do that much work to make this look nice. And then it says the condition of lips after a week. I don't know. It's going to be a little unfair of me right now to gauge whether or not this improves my lips like skincare. I do a lot of other skincare. This is not going to be the only lip product I'm wearing for a week. And with the bold colors that I picked, I wouldn't wear this for a week. I wouldn't wear it at night. I need something, you know, if, if they feel that strongly about this product being skincare, they really need to come out with a clear formula and let us really push that envelope and see if we would wanna wear this all night long in a clear formula. So I really hope that they do that. I noticed there are 39 shades in the collection, so a 40th that's clear maybe wouldn't be a bad idea. It says that it resists, resists fading, feathering, and smudging. I do think that that's true, though this is such a creamy formula and I am not the biggest fan or wearer of lip liners that I do find to get a perfect lip line without lining your lips with a lip liner, it's a little hard. It's a little hard to do. And so the way that I usually like to wear this is I will apply it full on like I did, and then I will take the finger and just run it right along the edge of the lipstick. You see, I'm taking off a little bit of lipstick, but not a lot of lipstick. I hope you can see the difference. So subtle, it's just the smallest little amount. But when I do that, it makes a world of difference on how the lipstick wears, how it fades down, 
and I love the look even more. This lipstick also looks beautiful, blotted down. I'm going to show that to you next. Oh, but before I do that, I will, maybe we'll get a little closer so you could see my, the texture of my lips. So even though I did a full blot, you could see how much color is still there. It's a nice wash, but when I purse my lips together and move my lips together, it feels like I am wearing a real sturdy, sturdy lip balm. And I love that about this product because that's what's gonna tell me that it's more like skincare and it's gonna have those hydrating properties that I personally need, especially this time of year, especially up north in the Northeast where we have all these heaters on and all the moisture from my skin, from my hair, from my lips is just being sucked out of these very dry interior environments. And so I love that there's a bit of moisture still left that I can comfortably purse my lips together and that it feels like it has staying power and will coat my lips for quite some time. It does coat my lips for some time. So bravo, bravo. I'm very, very happy. I just wanted to touch upon some of the ingredients that they decided to highlight. Um, number one is Minoy de Tahiti and chamomile oil that helps nourish and condition. I know Minoy oil is huge as a hydrating component, and so I'm happy to see that, and I really love chamomile oil. It's actually a very rare oil to include, and I actually wonder which kind they're using, because there's two primary flowers for chamomile that you can use, and they're both extremely healing, but uh, one is actually better for you than the other. Uh, jasmine flower wax helps boost moisture over time. So that's where I am a little still on the fence about its power over time, but so far so good. The other thing I wanted to know about the product is the fact that it has absolutely no scent. I have noticed a lot of Bobbi Brown lip products do have a slight fragrance. Usually it's a little bit of a licorice fragrance but this one has absolutely no scent so I think this is going to be a fantastic lip product for individuals who have sensitivity to fragrance however with the chamomile oil and with the jasmine flower wax there may be other sensitivities that appear but I am somebody who tends to react very strongly to these type of uh, formulas and flowers and essential oils and whatnot, and I haven't had an issue. So fingers crossed that if you're one of those individuals too, and you want to try this, that you would be happy with it. So let me go ahead and put on the next lip color. The next shade is Soho Sizzle. You can almost see that it has the embossment, but again, I've tried it on already and it's pretty worn down. This is a spicy, orangey red, but kind of bricky and muted also. It feels so good going on. Um, I'm gonna insert the picture of the swatch online so you can kind of see the difference. Let me just do my little trick. So there you go. I really love this color. I think it's beautiful and it's rich and yeah, it kind of is just like a happy color for me. This is an, a, definitely a daytime red for me. Let me blot it down and show you what it looks like. So that's it blotted once already and it still has so much pigment. And again, still has so much of that hydration in it. Really, really lovely. Last shade I picked up is Bond. So that's this color here. So I love the richness of this color, but you could see it's a little harder to apply. It can go on a little bit messy. So this is when that trick really helps me out. This also helps with any feathering if you don't want to wear a lip liner. So that is that color there. It has some plum in it. It has some brown. This is 
my version of day vamp that I would be happy wearing. I love it. I think it's a great winter color or fall color or any time of year color. If you want to feel powerful, this is a great color. So this is the color bond. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like online on their swatches. That is essentially the roundup. I understand that this is absolutely a luxury product. Probably the most I've spent on a lipstick in a while if I didn't consider the discount, the 25% off like friends and family discount. This now becomes probably one of the more expensive lipsticks I own. But I think that the formula is actually really special. And I feel like the trend is definitely getting away from uncomfortable drying matte formulas and finding formulas that feel good on the lips. So I think that this release is also very timely. Let me blot this down for you so you could see kind of a more diffused effect. So there you could see it. This reminds me a little bit as it blitz blotted down of Charlotte Tilbury's Bond Girl, who I think became M.I. Kiss. Um, it's in that same type of vein. There's like a ruddiness, a plumminess, and an ease of wear. But this formula is much more comfortable than the Matte Revolution formula from Charlotte Til Tilbury. I would say that this formula is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing formula. So I hope that this video was helpful. Please ask any questions. Let me know what your thoughts are on the shade range. I mean, there's so many colors that look exquisite in this line. So it will easily be a type of lipstick where I'm kind of eyeing when it goes on sale, you know, or if I get a gift card or something like that, I'm probably eyeing picking one up or another up or swatching all the colors if I go in store to kind of see what I think would really suit me. So again, I really appreciate you hanging out with me and I hope that you all have a great evening and we'll talk soon. Take care, everyone.